welcome to another riveting episode of George Meets World. Now, I have come all the way to fabulous England and I slithered into something green so that I could interview the one and only Harry Potter. Yay! Unfortunately, Harry is not here with us today. He's busy doing some world saving stuff. So in his stead, he sent a steed, Harry's very own Patronus. Yay! Welcome. Thank y'all for coming out here. Good to be here. So good to have you. So uh, first things first, I just want to know, what are you exactly? What am I? Mm -hmm. You don't know what a Patronus is. Do we have a bloody muggle over here interviewing a, a, me? A what? A muggle. A what? A non-magic person, mate. Oh, we call him no magic for I'm like, I'm like the, the persona that embodies what the, the witch or the wizard's most magical, pure spirit energy form is. Oh, okay, well why didn't you just say so in the first place? Well, usually I got the smart girl over here, what's her name, with the, with the, with the dumb hair and all that. Oh, Hermio. Yeah, that's the one. Alright. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you for clarifying that for our fine audience here. Now, as you know, Harry was supposed to be sitting here with us, mm -hmm. and then, you know, I was really looking forward to meeting him. So I'm just gonna ask you, though. How is Harry? What are, what, what are your thoughts on the Mr. Potter? What a load of tosh. <laughs> the chosen one? Oh, don't get me started on that bollocks for brains. I mean, the guy's supposed to be the hero of his own story, and he's got all his friends doing all the heavy lifting for him, he is. I mean, the guy just doesn't know whether he's coming or going. I mean, he's trying to cast spells, and then he's dead, and then he's alive again. I don't know. I'm just... He calls me out to do the job that he can't do on his own, and I'm just tired of it, really, mate. I am. What, what, what kind of jobs does he ask you to do? One pi picture this. See, we was at the I bar. We was. We was at. We having a pint like we do. He calls me out because the bloody bartender didn't open the bottle for him. He calls me out to pop his top off with my dang antlers. Uh, with your what? The antlers. Antlers. Yeah, the two things I got up there. Oh, I don't. They're, they're, they're looking a little bit, a little bit limp. Well, okay. I mean, I mean, ones that's doing this thing, it's natural for a, a, a Patronus my age that it's got a little bit of a difficulty there. It, I just need some of the Viagra antler, all right? It just, just helps, helps keep me up and keep me, you know, yeah. All right, all right. Well, okay, then. <laughs> well, a little thanks. sensitive about it, I so, so, Sorry, I didn't mean to, didn't mean that. To, all right. To be there. Uh, all right. Uh, so, you're, you're, so you're a spell, right? Right. All right. Well, let me just uh, let me just ask you this. Do, do you know like the other spells? You, do you happen to have like like a favorite spell that, that people do? A favorite spell? You say? Well, I mean, what other better one is there than the Expecto Patronum thingy where you got the lights and the flare and the panache and all that good oh, stuff? Oh, and just the shoot. what? The flare and the panache. The, pa the, pa the panache? Yeah, that's what I said. The panache. Oh my gosh, you said the word of the day! Yay! Yay! Well, the word well, of the well, day! Well, get a prize or something? Yes, you get a prize. Here's your mug. Hey! All right. All right. I need yes. it's, the, a, it's our very own without a Q mug. And you got the logo on both sides there. It's oh, that's ambidextrous. Great. Isn't oh. that wonderful? Well, thanks. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yay! Thank you. All right. Well. You know, as with any interview I do, I like to, to get to know people a little bit better, and I like to, to get a little deep. I like to get deep. Right, You know? Right. So, it's time for us to get personal. All right, let's get personal. All right, so tell me. All right. <clears throat> what do you and the other Patronuses, Patroni, however you pluralize yourselves. Patrini. Patrini. How do you and the other Patrini... Occupy your time when you're not protecting your wizards. Oh, well, that's actually a really interesting question. It is, you see, when we're not just, you know, down at the bar, just knocking back a few or twelve, we actually like to do a lot of philanthropic work down in the communities, Ooh. what with the kids and everything. We, we believe in the education and uh, 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 that, that, the, that the reading is, you know, it's it fundamental and all that. So, so that the kids don't have to grow up and young witches and wizards don't have to be illiterate patrona like myself there. Hmm. Well, isn't that just wonderful? Good for you. Oh, thank you. And if you would like to know more about the Patronus's philanthropic work, you can check it out in the website at the bottom of our screen. Well, that is all the time we have for today. Yay! So, uh, before you go, just remember to tune in next time and stay tuned to see Mr. Patroni in upcoming performances. Thank y'all and have a good night. Mm -hmm.